I am a Tory. No, never. Yeah, no, I'm a Tory. I'm telling you where bloody Labour's gone wrong because I've had dealings with them and been held back by them. Held back by them? Well, him next door, if he'd done what I told him and not sold his bloody house to the Labour Council, eh? that bloody swine, he sold his house to the council, see? And you know what's going to happen now, don't you? They're going to move bloody council house tenants in there. That's what they're going to do. Yes, yeah, so? So? It's going to lower the value of this property, isn't it? I own this. This property is mine. <laughs> if the council do move people in next door, they ought to be ashamed of themselves. Because yeah. eh? they ought to know all this lot down. That's what I think. Okay. I mean, the architect who designed this lot, I mean, he should be shot, shouldn't he? Mm. He's obviously nothing but contempt for the working people. Do you know that rich landowners keep cattle in better places Excuse than this? Excuse me, that's my home you're talking about. <laughs> I'm not blaming you. Not blaming me? I told him not to buy it. <laughs> no! We're saddled with it now. No! Never be able to sell it. No! <laughs> this is property, isn't it? More like a prison to me. <laughs> There's no knowing what this might be worth when they develop it. Look, I, I've heard that Harry Iams is interested here. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, that's all he needs with his money, isn't it? Eh? Yeah. A chop and two down with an outside lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Genuine Dick Kensington dwelling house with great charm. Yes, public baths only two miles away right. with hot and running cold and water. <laughs> and an unspot view of the houses across the road. <laughs> Ideal for anyone wishing to keep bugs. We've got no bugs here, Rita. Oh, no, of course not. They perished in the famous knit wars, didn't they? You're getting them back soon now. Don't you worry about that, that bloody lot next door there. Who? Bloody council last tenants probably crawling alive with them, they are. <laughs> What's Harry Irons want with this place? Look, hey. I didn't say it was him. I said I'd heard. That's all I've heard. I've heard that they're going to build a 30-mile golden strip from Tower Bridge down to South End with casinos, <laughs> hotels, restaurants, a lot. Yeah? So I'll make it like, you know, sort of a tourist centre. Like a sort of Las Vegas, you know? Oh. <laughs> Bloody sight better than a docks, that will. So they started to load that ship, haven't they? Hmm. Hmm. 75p. <laughs> I bet you get. Shh. Here. Do you mean like Blackpool? Eh? Well, with fairs, roundabouts, all that. Bloody fairs. I ain't sort of people ain't interested in fairs and roundabouts, you silly moo. <laughs> you want river bars and champagne and boots and look. Be noisy. Yeah, be a bloody sight more money in it as it was in the docks. But it wash out they turn out to be. <laughs> Cos him and his bloody trade unionists, they were in the bloody docks, didn't they? Eh? Of course they bloody did. They flourishing they was, these bloody docks. Biggest docks in the world, till darling Harold and his lot got their bloody hands on them. <laughs> it was the containers what ruined the docks. Yeah, no, you got containers and a brain you have. They ought to put you in a bloody container, mate. <laughs> The people, the people what ruined these docks, stealing and bloody looting before the ships hardly dropped anchor even. Talk about bloody pirates, come on. Well, you brought things home. Look, if I did, my dear, I bought them, I paid for them, I didn't bloody well steal them. But they've been stolen. <laughs> you can't give them back, can you, to know they belong to in the first place? Well, you shouldn't buy things that have been stolen. It encourages people to steal, that does. Oh, encourages. They don't need no encouragement. They're